Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Camp as a Row of Spiegel Tents, a celebration of Sydney's drag. Please welcome to the stage Amelia Airhead, Joyce Mange, and the cast of Queen.
every night. The people they say to me every time when you get out of your Corvette Stingray in your white pumps and your pink acid wash jeans with the matching pink rabbit fur coat. We say, Miss Thing, you got it going on. You is gorgeous. And I say, I am so proud to serve you people because I know that with my looks, I can achieve anything in this world. Yes. I got that Revlon contract. Oh, yes. And thank you. I'll take that record contract, too. Because you know what? I'm gorgeous. And my job with my gorgeousness is to serve the people. I serve. And I serve some more. Yes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for letting me do my beautiful work in beautifying this beautiful world that is already, already so Please welcome your host, multi Diva Award winner and current Entertainer of the Year, Mitzi McIntosh. Oh, good evening, ladies and ladies. Welcome along. This is so fucking exciting. And now it's like playing real theatre. Who thought the fucking opera house? Whoop de shit, I know. Well, it's not actually the opera house, it's sort of the forecourt, isn't it? And it's a tent. That's okay. It's a bit of a warm tent, isn't it? Spiegel, I don't know whether you knew the word Spiegel means mirror. Isn't that nice? Spiegel tent, so it's a mirror tent. That's why there's mirrors around. I think if there's one thing a drag queen couldn't do without, it's a mirror. <laughs> Imagine, I think it goes there, not fucking sure. Anyway, so yeah, so the Spiegel tent, it's actually Dutch. Being a warm tent, it'll be more like a Dutch oven by the end of this evening, so <laughs> can't wait for that one, boom tish. Uh, now we do have, I do have to officially welcome everybody. Uh, now what we're going to be doing this evening is, uh, it's a little bit of a taste test of drag over the last 15, 20 years. It's certainly, it's certainly not comprehensive because there have been some incredible shows that have come through Oxford Street, um, dating right back to the days of Capriccios and Lay Girls and all those sorts of things and, and, and drag has been such a major part of the gay and lesbian community and uh, tonight we're just giving you a bit of a, we're sort of wandering around and having a look through the window of a few hotels. Some that we don't have anymore, like the Aubrey. We've got some fantastic numbers from the Aubrey Hotel. I didn't remember them. Trudy's like, remember this move? I'm like, nah, no idea. But anyway, so uh, yeah, and, and of course Annie's Bar, which we don't have anymore. Some fantastic numbers from the Midnight Shift uh, and, and some new numbers as well. So we'll be looking forward to that. But this, uh, this little speech or this little uh, introduction has uh, been inspired by Trudy Valentine's introduction speech from Divas a few years ago. So ladies and gentlemen, shims, dress up kinks, live in drags, transvestites, backpackers, fudge packers, feather backpackers, Gender illusionists, fags, slags, drags, fag hags, drag chaggers, trannies, tranny trade, dykes, lemons, fruits, queers, sexual misfits, misses and hits, 
bearded ladies and cross dressers. Welcome to the Spiegel tent. Now, the reason we're here, and hopefully the reason you're here, is because we love drag. Drag has been the colour and movement of the scene for so many years. People come up to you all the time, they're like, oh, I remember seeing your show when I first came out, and I thought, just an excuse to stand there and sort of rub somebody's crutch next to you, but that's okay. Um, and drag has been in so many venues, and, and uh, a, a lot of you have grown up and, and come out with drag and have experienced drag, some of the shows you'll see tonight. So tonight we're gonna, we're gonna love drag. And, uh, and of course, the drag has been, uh, People tell us that uh, the Sydney drag is the best drag in the world. I don't know whether they're just trying to hop on top of us or not, but they do. And uh, people who travel come back and say it's amazing. We're in the Sydney Olympics. We've, uh, we've been showcased in various places, but certainly not in the Spiegel tent. So we're very excited. We have some fantastic shows for you. And the first number that we have is actually a brand new number from our new Priscilla show at the Imperial Hotel. I know. I'm excited. For those of you who uh, don't know what the Imperial is, uh, here's hoping in two years' time you do know what it is. Um, but the Imperial Hotel was a little hotel in, uh, in Newtown. Uh, Dawn O'Donnell, who was a legend of the scene and opened a lot of venues, bought two hotels because she saw a lot of the gay and lesbian community moving out to the inner west. And she thought, oh, so I'll make some fucking money. So she opened two hotels and they became the gay and lesbian hotels in the inner west, the sister hotels of the Imperial Hotel and the Newtown Hotel. And uh, the Imperial closed for renovations, oh, a few weeks ago. And... Uh, <laughs> And it's going to be opening in a few weeks' time. Uh, depending on who you talk to. Don't talk to the builder. Uh, but, yeah, and, uh, and, and we're very excited about the Imperial reopening. It's going to be an amazing hotel. And we've got a brand-new Priscilla show with a new cast. Um, so, please, welcome to the stage, Mini, uh, Charisma, and I don't know who's in the show, and come and get it! Please don't talk about troubles that we've been through please don't talk about all the plans that we had for fixing this broken romance i want to go where the people dance i want some action i want to leave Got so much to give. I want to give it. I want to get some too. Action. Action. Well. Look what the cat dragged in. What have we got here, eh? A couple of showgirls, have we? Where did you ladies come in from? Uranus? Could I please have a story? No! You can't have. You can't have nothing. We've got nothing here for people like you. Nothing. Now listen here, you mullet. Why don't you just light your tampon and blow your box apart? Because it's the only bang you're ever going to get, sweetheart.
I'll join this conversation on the proviso that we stop bitching about people talking about wigs, dresses, bus sizes, penises, drugs, nightclubs on bloody ABBA. Doesn't give us much to talk about then, does it? Ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, Miss Dallas Delaforce. Will you come over here a minute? What are you so scared of? If you still think I'm trying to seduce you... No, I... Don't be nervous. I want to say something first. I want you to know that I'm available to you, and if you won't sleep with me this time, I want you to know that you can call me up any time you want, and we'll make some kind of an arrangement. Because I find you very attractive. I am not trying to seduce you. I am not trying to seduce you.
Would you like me to seduce you? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Together for the first time since Annie's Bar in 1999, please welcome the cast of The Girly Bassy Show, Portia Turbo, Amelia Airhead, Trudy Valentine, and the gorgeous Chelsea Bunn.
The first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas my true love gave to me two cutty sarks and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas my true love gave to me three old crows, two cutty sarks and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four old Fitzgeralds, three old crows, two cutty socks, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five dry rob rows. <laughs> four old Fitzgeralds, three old crows, two cutty socks. And a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me six Cuba Libras, five dry rye, four old fish shells, three old crows, two patty sacks, and a tree, and a, and a bird with a fruit on the limb. <laughs> um, on the seventh day of 
Christmas night to all gays me Seven Johnny Walkers, six Cuba Libras What a bogey, what a fish and jail She all called to Harris And a tree, and a tree, and a tree in the meadow minutes of walk-off music. Uh, when I first came to Sydney 20 years ago, I worked at Lay Girls as a waiter. And uh, Mon was doing that number then, and I think she might have been doing it for a few years before that. Um, but um, she would do it 12 months of the year. And so she'd do a Christmas song 12 months of the year. For the first six months, they'd say, and she's still celebrating Christmas. And then as soon as it hit June, July, and she's celebrating Christmas early. And you know, 12 months of the year. Fucking brilliant. Um, I would like to say hello to uh, Winnie, um, Amelia's grandmother. <laughs> Woo! Yes. She wanted, is she over this side? She wanted every, Amelia wanted everyone to know that she's 86 and it's way past her bedtime. So thank you for coming along. We, we won't be upset if you're not off during the shows. A lot of people do. Um, now, some of you may be wondering what the Diva Awards is. We've been mentioning them this evening. Every year, um, generally during the coldest month of the year, because that's when we don't melt, uh, we have the Diva Awards around about August each year. And uh, we, we give out awards to drag queens during the year who've done exceptional jobs uh, at their performing and producing shows and things like that. And, uh, of course, a lot of the performers this evening are multi-Diva Award winners. Um, if you don't know, the Divas are sort of like the Logies, but just a little more glamorous. Um, <laughs> 
And, and if you could picture sort of, you know, 500 men in a room and 250 are dressed as women. So that's basically what it's like. It's a, it's a great night. And then there's the bitch and boast party, which goes for hours, because that's more fun than the actual awards. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, all right, we are, we're coming up to our last performance of the first half. We hope you're enjoying yourselves. We are. We're out the back thinking, oh, remember this number? Oh, shit house, wasn't it? Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, um, we, uh, we have our DJ Kitty Glitter, who's going to be providing the music for you during the break, uh, who is a Diva Award winner as well. Um, and so, you know, we, we hope you enjoy that. Coming up for you now, we have the best show for Divas 2006. Please welcome the cast of Queen with Dancing Queen, the Kylie Celebration.
Yeah. 